All right, check it out. We're back. Talk about some stuff. It's going to be a quickster. All right, it's going to be a quickster today. Uh, you know, I did the Holy Pally guide almost almost a month and a half ago now. That's complete. I don't know if that's true at all. I'm just making up an arbitrary number. But one way or the other, uh, some things have changed. Okay, some things have changed since the beta. Uh, but before we start, shout out Miguel Cabrera, Triple Crown winner. You don't know what that's about. Go check it out. It's a massive feat. First time in... 50 years deserves your respect but either way let's talk about some uh some things that i'm not really not really sure why or when they change but are definitely changes for me from paladin since the beta uh first things first i mean my spirit is it's bad <laughs> i don't know if anybody's done any uh you know any raiding yet raids are out now so this is pretty much just going to be an interactive video i want you guys to talk i want you guys to leave some comments let me know what what's up but I mean, it is a struggle to cast. It really is. The gear is not perfectly optimized yet, but I've gotten some decent pieces, and it is still a real struggle. So one way or the other, I don't remember being that bad on the beta. Uh, five mans are actually easier now. So I guess that's kind of kind of lulls you into a sense like, well, I'm good in five mans. You get in a raid. It's a 10-minute fight, and it's a disaster. I'm just oom after 40% of the fight. But anyway, that's that's not what we're talking about. Uh, two big things. Just want to update you guys on how I feel about them. Maybe you could contribute as well how you feel. Uh, if you watch the video, I recommended Sacred Shield. Okay, I recommended this one. And it was mostly because I knew it stacked. Many people could stack it all at once. But but Globals are... I mean, I did, I did some 25-man rating last night. Globals are at a premium. They really are. And it's it's a really tough for me to be able to maximize my throughput, and monitor this 30-second shield. I don't know about you guys, but even if it is better, which I kind of don't think it is, I've switched to Eternal Flame. Feels better, looks better. Uh, people say it scales a lot better. Obviously, Haste is going to get this a bit more ticks. Doesn't really work that way with Sacred Shield very easily, so I've switched to uh, Eternal Flame. What about you guys? You sticking with Sacred Shield? You using Eternal Flame? Selfless Healer? What are you up? Let me know. Let me know either way. And then the final one, uh, everything else is pretty much still the same. It's kind of a no-brainer for me. I was going Holy Prism on the beta. It seemed really good in five mans. But the more I do, the more I play, I feel like it's not healing the people it's supposed to be healing. I'm not sure why or how. Uh, it's still, obviously, a short cooldown. It's only 20 seconds, so you can get it out there. But 20 seconds compared to a minute when it seems very inconsistent, uh, it's just not working for me. So I've gone Light's Hammer. Uh, the one only one real complaint I have with Light's Hammer is it seems like sometimes I throw it down and it doesn't actually go. Like it doesn't it, it goes on cooldown, but it's it's not on the ground healing or doing damage. Anyone else had this problem? I don't know, but those are three big things that uh, I'm talking about. So I said probably gem intellect and spirit. I'm going straight spirit right now. There is no way I'm finishing a fight without it. I popped feasts, mats, I got flasks, I got everything, and I'm still not finishing fights with mana, so got to work on that. But let me know what you think. Holy Pally, healing in general, hit me up. We'll have a chat. Uh, but that's it, man. Mop is out, and it is awesome. Congrats, congrats to all you guys who said it was. You know, this is this is great.